Hey everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. The app that we use to remote view, uh, secure view, watch guard, and VIP vision devices on mobile phones is called GDMSS for Android and iDMSS on iOS. Um, that app has recently undergone a few changes. Version 4.5 has come out, and some of the things that you do on that app, I, you know, functioning of the app has changed a little bit. Some of the things are in different spots. One of those things is adding devices to the app. So um, what I'm gonna show you here now is how to add a device on a GDMSS, or copy of GDMSS running on an Android device. Beware though that, well, be aware that everything that I do in this video also applies to iOS. So whether that be on an iPhone or on an iPad or something like that, the apps are almost identical. So. The first thing that we need to do before we set up remote view, of course, is ensure that our recorder is actually configured or recorder or, or camera, indeed, if we were just using a camera directly, um, is set up for remote view. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up using P2P or how to ensure it's set up working properly using P2P. Um, you can also do it using port forwarding. That's outside the scope of this video. And for the most part, not many people use port forwarding anymore anyway. So I'm gonna jump across to our recorder now so this is a four channel recorder. I've only got two cameras added, but the first thing I need to do is select main menu and then select network. Now, um, network. So typically you're gonna have it set up on DHCP. And if we're getting an IP address through DHCP, which is what your router is going to be um, assigning, uh, we're good. This is all set to defaults at the moment. So out of the box, as soon as you plug it in, um, it will pick up an address. Obviously, if you need to set it static, for your network, you would do so, but if you do, uh, you should know what to set it to. So the other thing that we need to ensure is that P2P is turned on and is connected. So to turn it on, you click the enable button and then click apply if it's not already on. Um, you probably configure this during the uh, initial setup process, the setup wizard of the device. If you haven't though, quite easy to enable. Once we see connect success, everything is good. We are good to go. At this point, we can start configuring our phone. So. I'm gonna jump across to a phone right now. So I'll just, I'll just get out of the app there briefly. So like I said before, it's called GDMSS. Um, GDMSS Plus and IDMSS Plus are the ones that you're looking for. Do not go for the light versions. They are older and no longer maintained. So we'll tap on that and it's gonna open up to our live preview here. So as you can see, I've got nothing selected currently, but I can quite easily uh, add a device. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is tap on the home icon up in the top left here. And then I'm going to select, down the bottom, I'm gonna select device. And from device, you can see I've already got one device in here. Up here, we can see that there, MH Solar Mini PTZ, but I'm gonna add another device. So I'm gonna tap the plus icon at the top of the screen up here, and I'm gonna select scan. Now at this point, it's going to open my camera. If for some reason your camera is damaged or you don't want to allow camera access for the, for the app or something like that, you can actually select manually enter SN down the bottom here. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to actually scan this from the recorder. So obviously before, if I, if I jump back to the recorder, I'll show you again. We've got our two QR codes here. It's the one on the, on the right that we're looking for. So the SN rather than the cell phone client. That was basically, it'll just give us our serial number. As I mentioned, we could type that serial number in manually if we wanted to, but for this, I'm just going to scan. So I'm gonna jump across here now, and I'm just gonna show you, obviously, I'm gonna bring my, my device up towards the unit. Uh, before I do that though, I'm gonna select the phone so you can see what's going on, and move a little bit closer to the monitor, and we've picked it up. Cool, so now it's saved or selected the serial number here. So I'm gonna tap next. Now, it's important to note that obviously the phone needs to have internet access. It sounds like something, something silly, uh, but you do actually run into it a little bit. If for some reason the phone doesn't have data um, or you know, your Wi-Fi is not working properly, something like that. Basically, before this, you should probably ensure that you can, you can get to Google using either the, uh, the Chrome browser on an Android device or Safari on a iOS device. Anyway, uh, Next thing we need to do is, is select what camera we actually have added or what we've added in general here. So in this case, I'm adding an NVR. If we were adding a camera directly, you would select camera. Or if we we're adding a, a CVR machine or you know an analog uh, based machine, HD analog or the standard definition analog, we'd select XVR here. Um, access control and doorbell and things like that, obviously that's 
for those devices, but that's, a, that's something for a different video. So I'm gonna tap on NVR. Now, add mode is P2P, so um, that's happened by the fact that we've scanned a serial number, and you can see, see that we've filled in the SN down the bottom here, the serial number down the bottom here. The only things that I have left to do here are to add a device name, so I'm going to say demo room for the device name. This can be anything, it doesn't have to be, you know, it's whatever you want to call it. So maybe you could call it home, maybe you could call it work, maybe you could call it 22 Bly Street, something like that. So the next thing that I need to do is select a username and password or enter a username or password. Um, this password would have been added during your startup wizard and you would have needed it to log into the recorder. Um, so the admin username, I should say. Um, if you want to, you can actually add different users as well. Um, I'll put that in a different video, how to add different users, but essentially you need to know your password at this point. So I'm gonna type mine in, which is a nice secure admin 123. And I'll tap save. And there we go, it's starting to load the cameras. Look at that, we've got two cameras up there already. So at that point, I can obviously double tap to zoom in on a camera. Um, I can switch to a different stream type. I can switch to mainstream to increase the quality just a little bit. And yeah, there you go, everything's good. So that's just a brief rundown on how to add um, devices using um, DMSS version 4.5. Like I said, it's a little bit different to previously. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.